Hey guys, Fourpaws here, and welcome to my tip top top lane Pantheon guide. So this one might seem a bit of a random champion to be making a guide on, but honestly I think Pantheon's quite fun and undervalued for solo queue. Pantheon is the pure definition of a lane bully with an almost toxic kit for 1v1 dueling, and he can dominate most lane phases. It's very common to snowball this Pantheon, and if you understand how to apply pressure to other lanes, he is amazing for leading your team to victory. He does fall off somewhat late game, so you'll want to make plays all over the map after shutting down your lane opponent. Grand Skyfall is a great ultimate for doing that, as you can catch people off guard, and with a few good ultimates you can basically secure objectives for your team on your own. He is best picked into an opponent who is relatively easy to bully in the lane phase, and as a rule of thumb, try to pick him into an AD champion. So let's get into his early game. Pantheon in the lane phase can simply throw spears to weaken his opponents until they become within burst range. Depending on the matchup, you might want to hold off on poking your opponent until you're level 4 or so, so that your spears chunk a little bit harder. Also, don't forget that your kill potential only becomes crazy upon ranking up hearts you can strike for the guaranteed crits on weak targets. Be cautious of being ganked, as Pantheon's kit excels at destroying a single opponent, so I'd advise for you to keep your lane warded up at all times. Other than that, bully your opponent, zone them away from the minions, and hard push your early advantage. You can shut down most matchups, and it can be incredibly frustrating to have to deal with a Pantheon. Upon reaching level 6 and entering the mid game, Pantheon starts to hit his peak. Here it is crucial that you look to land some devastating ultimates and begin to make picks around the map. If a lane overextends, they become a prime target for a Skyfall gank. Convert these successful ganks into objectives for your team to further snowball your advantage. Aim to grab towers, ward deep into the enemy jungle and pick up dragon kills. Keep up the pressure and don't forget to keep returning to your lane to quickly AoE down the creeps. In the rare game where no lane is gankable, or perhaps your team is already doing just fine, then look to group or simply split push. You might be surprised by this, but late game Pantheon isn't usually useless. Unless you've been shut down during the early game, Pantheon is still a threat and a good pick champion through to the end of the match. All that changes is that you have to be more careful in your approach, as you're now a prime target for CC and peeling. Try to let your team engage for you, and then jump into the fray when some cooldowns have been blown. Equally, you can opt to peel for your backline somewhat, but overall you want to be controlling the enemy backline. I'd advise for you to pick up at least one tanking item after you've built as much armor pen as possible, so that you don't get blown up in teamfights. So three quick tips for playing Pantheon. To begin, the lane phase is crucial to how relevant you will be in that game. Pantheon is very good at picking up solo kills on his lane opponent, and he also scales very well with early armor pen items. For example, a Brutalizer Pantheon is hell to deal with, regardless if you're against a squishy mage or a tankier champion like Nasus. You don't have to overcommit to killing your opponent, as Pantheon is very good at last hitting due to the nature of his build where you're going to be picking up a lot of attack damage items. Alongside you are basically guaranteed last hits on any minion under 15% health when you put a skill point into your Heartseeker ability. Pantheon is completely gated by mana, so he's one of the very few champions in League where buying a mana potion on almost every base can be very effective. I like to start with Crystalline Flask, 3 health potions and 1 mana potion in pretty much every matchup so that you can basically throw your spear off of cooldown. The sustain from Flask also helps you keep up with your opponent's sustain as you're often going to be facing a cloth 5 star. And finally when looking to teamfight as Pantheon you really need to track your enemy cooldowns. If you are crowd controlled for more than 2 seconds there's a good chance that you're either going to be killed or be too weak to survive long enough to rotate through your own abilities. Overall, Pantheon serves better when fighting mini skirmishes, such as a 3v2 bot lane gank, so seriously approach teamfights with care, or else you'll just be useless. So that concludes my Pantheon guide. In this end slate, you can see my suggestions for when you play Pantheon, but always feel free to implement your own playstyle into your setup. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like down below, and also leave a comment with your thoughts, and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.